Alright, this is video number two of the Silonite SK2 Fire Alarm Control Panel. Today we're going to be demonstrating the temporal coding feature that you can use for the NAC circuit. Now, I do have a horn strobe up, but strobes and codes do not work at all because coding a strobe can damage the strobe. So, for demonstration, I have not used this alarm in a very long time, and that is my custom that Soccer Dude 7330 or Charlie had made me a couple uh, years ago when my first Wheelock AS had a malfunction horn when I first got it. So the strobe is not hooked up, I just have the horn wired up. And the horn sounds like a GX90. Actually, it is a GX90 horn. So it's going to be doing code 3 by the SK2. And we're going to turn on code 3 by taking a screwdriver to dip switch 1. To to switch one and dip switch three for temporal coding. So let's take our screwdriver and let's go to uh, let's see, right there, switch three and turning it on. There you go. Now we have code three on or temporal. So let's go ahead and activate it. Oops. The reason why I said whoops, because I thought it was doing continuous at first. I forgot that the newer uh, models of these panels had that little bit of a long blast in the beginning before doing code 3, so I was like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, I key activated the pulse station. My phone just vibrated. I'm not sure who's texting me. So we can go ahead and just reset the system. And there you go. Stay tuned for video 3.